right um yeah my shopping's just been delivered um he apologized because i got a slot to say um well a text to say my slot was between eight and ten this morning but then i normally get another text to say um the half an hour slot so i'm sort of prepared make sure i don't have my hoover going things like that because i'm done about anybody else but i'm concerned you know from upstairs or the other side of the home with the hoover going i'm not going to hear the door um he apologized one of the guys actually dropped the set that normally they do the second um text to say the half an hour slot but not not a problem i was up so it's about what a couple of minutes past eight my slot was eight till ten so yeah not too bad at all and tell us all the amount of shopping i knew it was a big order this is one of the biggest it's probably bigger than sometimes at christmas but there you are um i have to get things in because our granddaughter i've got a granddaughter for the day coming up due to the fact that they've got a training day at the nursery and uh, both parents are working i said rang up and said not a problem i'm in although i have got an appointment so i might have to take her with me um so this is the shocker oops <laughs> i've had problems with um my left knee again um so it keeps giving way i don't know whether the video will go up before this or after yeah i still can't I didn't put the other reef up here. I left this one up for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I'm just answering one query about, um, you know, motivation, um, how I keep things going. And so I'm going to do that. It is in a separate video because I was going to do it with um, a video that, again, I don't know whether it's before this one or after, um, is about getting stuff done again. A um, bit of housework, cleaning, that sort of thing. Um, so it, it sort of gives a little bit of background and how I got my systems in place and why. I've done it for so many years. Um, it, it just works for me. Going back to the shopping because that's why we're here. And this is my food shop. Um, yes, it probably looks worse than it was is i should say because like the coke bottles um they're in separate bags because they can only get like two in a bag because how heavy they are so yeah so i'm just trying to you know get through now and to get my shopping put away so i probably will do the freezer stuff first this could be a chatty video i don't think i've done many chatty videos just recently especially when we're in the caravan yeah there was one if you've seen it um me pulling faces because hubby was moving about at the front of the caravan and the creaking because it is leather seats and pulling faces and i did look quite kind of strict i was trying to psych myself up to start the um video i think was it poundland i think it was poundland i'm not sure and then obviously I've got seagulls in the background and cows and you know i don't know people jacking their caravans up and things like that but that's what you get when you're away it's all the fun isn't it so i'm going to put this away i'm going to start with the freezer stuff i have got all my lamps on this morning it is dark so i'll probably put some um over the um headlights yeah i noticed ages ago that i'd never put um something across there to hide those hooks where that picture is normally i've like hessian ribbon going across there but i'm in the process of shortly getting our halloween decorations down um but yeah as i said it's a matter of um keeping up with hot spots but i'm going to get off track here due to the fact this is all going to be covered in another video so let's get started with the freezer Right, so here's the freezer bit. I've had to be very careful with the freezer pieces just to the fact that really and truly I need to um, sort of start to try and empty the bottom compartment, which is not a drawer in our freezer, which will come up in obviously the continuation of my kitchen organisation series um, for the turkey and things like the piggy blankets and things like that. Um, 
but I keep forgetting and it's usually this time of year I start winding at least one compartment down for Christmas freezer stuff so let's start over here um I've had Donna kebabs from Iceland before but not unless they've changed the packaging not like this so I've got the three these were a pound each I have got salad and sometimes I put grated cheese in so my idea is to fill it out with um, salad grated cheese and possibly um, do some um, ash brownies wedges or fries with it um, something like that so one each of those I've got two chicken chicken joints because um, I've got to take into consideration um, a granddaughter coming and also I don't know whether our parents will be having um, a meal with us so I've sort of got two of the joints so I can either do one or both of them um, normally when our granddaughter comes I do tend to do both of them and if there's anything left over I make it into a pasta uh, for our son for work something we haven't had for ages is the faggots um sometimes we have these with like um peas mashed potato we love the gravy never enough gravy or as very often my guys like it with um chips and you know because i like gravy and chips anyway especially from the chip shop which we haven't had for so long so i've got two of those and i'm I'm trying to think how much they were. Were they something like 150 a box? I'd like to say 150 a box, but again, declaration. If I get the prices wrong, I do apologise. My little treat for today is sweet and sour chicken with rice. Um, I love this. Um, not the best thing um, to have because I think there's quite a lot of um, sugar in this. Let me have a look quickly. Yes, a fair bit of sugar in that because obviously the sauce. But uh, if I get my um, sort of housework done, you know, burning calories off and burning the sugar off, I'm hoping to have that for my lunch. I say some are repeat buys. Um, obviously, the chicken breast fillets, barbecue, my absolute favourite. I do with um, a number of different meals. And things I do like them in rolls with um, salad mayo especially when the guys have their quarter pounders now something that's not well I think it's fairly new it's a limited edition anyway and this was three pounds because this is how this was three pounds by the way because this is how I sort of started um, having these strips is I've gone for the chicken wings but they're curry flavor um, so we'll give those a go a while back I did have the cola flavoured ones and definitely a no-no with my family. They ate them, not keen on them, never ordered them again. Didn't taste of cola at all. It was more of a citrusy, limey taste, I would say, but not cola. So I've never ordered them again and wouldn't recommend them unless, of course, you like a citrus taste. Um, had a weird taste that's all they could explain it so I've gone for the curry one so what I tend to do I've said this before if it's some chicken um, or different meat depending on what it is I possibly will partner it up with something else so I might do a few of these a few of those and maybe some dippers or something like that you know with chicken that I know the family will eat then I'll incorporate something like this just in case on the off chance it is horrible that happened with the cola um wings although we did end up eating them all because we don't like to waste food um so repeat by is the minted um lamb quarter pounders and the beef quarter pounders i believe they're two pound fifty a box and i've got four boxes there didn't have them last week, I didn't order them. And it's the first week and I don't know how long I haven't ordered burgers. As I said, I do um, quite a different lot of meals with them in the rolls like they've got here. But also, as I said in previous videos, I like these mid-week um, with um, a, as a roast dinner even. Right, potato products. Because we haven't been um, having fries, we've been having all the potato products, I needed to restock the drawer. So we've got ash brownies, hubby likes those. Wedges, son likes those. Moi likes both. 
Um, I've said this before, I tend to do these. Um, I have them with gravy because I don't find, I find them quite dry. But I've also said that I've um, squirted them with sauce, maybe barbecue, then put grated cheese on. We've had this like with um, sausage and peas, that sort of thing, or even um, winter lamb grills this with barbecued sauce or something you know with grated cheese and peas something like that um i did get a bag of fries because we did have fries in the week um so i needed to redo that something i possibly have brought before is the alphabet um potato bits and that is for our granddaughter um, I'm hoping to do those, maybe, maybe even spell her name out or something, I don't know. I'm hoping she will eat them. She didn't eat the mashed potato the last time she came. Um, she did eat a bit of roast potato, but veg, talking about veg, she loves veg. That's the first thing that always goes off her plate. So I've got two lots of carrots because I've got a lot of mixed veg in our um, freezer, but I thought I'd get some carrots. Um, so, you know, I think she prefers sort of this shape than those, but I can have those in my slow cooker as well, so it's not a problem. So I've gone for the baby carrots and the sliced carrots, maybe even a mixture, um, because she's eaten them off her plate, and I've always sorted them out, put extra carrots on my plate. It's probably a bad habit, and then she'll look at me when all her carrots are gone, and so I tend to do her some extra carrots in a little dish so I can put a few extra veggies on her plate because let's face it, veg is good for you. So there we are. So they were a pound each. And um, as I said, I'm thinking about possibly um, either nuggets or chicken. Our chicken joints over where I've shown you probably for a roast, but I've got dippers and something like that for her if she you know to do this sort of thing with and I possibly will do it with carrots um something I haven't been able to get again and finally got it this week according to my um message this morning nothing is missing so that's brilliant so it's the brownie obsession this is the Friday's range and um, everything we've had from the Friday's range, um, my family have thoroughly enjoyed. I understand, is it American, um, you know, cafe, restaurant or something? Let me have a look. Um, yeah, the best thing about this is, look, microwave from frozen two minutes. Stand for one minute before serving. That is the best thing about it. I love things that can do that. So... If you've got unexpected visitors or extra family members come that you wouldn't realise and need a dessert, that's great. And to tell you the truth, I thought, especially hubby, I had a very small portion because I thought it was going to be sickly, but it wasn't. It was lovely. And sometimes I've done it with cream, but I've also brought the ice cream roll. I know it's a strange combination, but once that's heated up, put it with some ice cream. Gorgeous. You know, a repeat buy is the Belgium um, Eclairs, his favourite. And I did get a Black Forest Gatto in. I was going to think about going for a Halloween cake or Halloween um, dessert. But some of those are horrendous. Like the strawberry cheesecake and it looks like a um, web. I was going to actually have that. That's £4, which I suppose is not too bad if I was having a, a proper party. Probably I would have thought about that. But this is £2 and it serves more people. I know family members do like this. So whatever. Maybe I could even stick a pick in there. You know, Halloween-y sort of thing. Or even put maybe, um, you know, a spider at the side or something. So I'm sure I can work that one out. Um, because I am going to decorate for Halloween. Although my Halloween decorations haven't come through the loft yet. Um, we'll get there in another video. So that's my freezer pieces. I'm going to put this away before I go on for the next section, which would be fridge. Okay, so I'll start with the fresh produce. I've got a bag of onions here. I think, yeah, they were a pound. Um, potatoes, I think, were two. Yes. I've got the bananas here. I think they were a pound. And I've got tomatoes here. I'm not 100% sure how much they actually were. So, 
yeah so it's sort of fresh i try not get too much fresh stuff in um too soon due to the fact that i like to space it out it's not like i can go out like i used to do every day or every other day to get fresh produce i try not to um do that now um but i try and get some parts in because i've had comments about where's all your fresh stuff well as i said i used to go to a veg and fruit stall um in the center like a market stall that used to be undercover but unfortunately um now it's gone i don't know if they're ever going to come back so i do tend to shop in um maybe tesco's i've done it in asta when we've been away and things like that right got some strawberry milk um should have probably got an extra one again this is only a pound as most places are like 188 or something maybe i should have got an extra one because our granddaughter likes her uncle daniel's milk so there we are so we get those all the family like the strawberry so that's what i normally get in um got obviously the um semi-skimmed milk but due for our granddaughter and everything is the whole milk um depending on how long she's staying if she's not she's coming for the day i know that for a fact um but if she's not staying any longer then i normally send the full milk back with her parents actually butterly was a pound i think these peppa pig were a pound from shrey she does like those as i said there's some like kiddie things sort of creeping in just the fact that i like to be prepared savory eggs and um i got this one i know she likes cracker um not sure about the cheese it's a bit hit and miss she does like cooked meat but this has a little um sort of um oreos in there as well very often she wants the same as what everybody else in the home is having so i have got the milky bar ones in and i've also got the aero again what i tend to do is even though i get the six and she'll probably if she's here all day she might have two or three of those during the day then i'll send anything back home with her due to the fact that sometimes i don't know when i'm next going to see her um two slabs of cheese were five pounds now i don't think these were i don't think these were a pound each i think they were less than a pound um got the coleslaw here the cheesy one two lots of coronation chicken because we like that with jacket potatoes um the wafer thin cooked ham pound um got this because i wanted something different to put in our son's packing up so i've got this and this is the tikka again i can either put that in a roll or something with salad um or i can um make some pasta for him and put some form of mayo or sauce in it and then chop the chicken up sometimes he has that sort of thing and then these ones special offer two for two pounds the honey roast ham which i think we may have along with coronation chicken cheese with the jacket potatoes i've put this one in here so I don't forget um not had these these are the dutch pancake bites and i was trying to remember when i pulled them out it was a meal i'm not sure oh i didn't didn't actually include the gammon joint to die the smoked gammon joint the one kilogram that was five pounds now i'm not 100 sure if this was part of the meal i don't know if it was the gammon joint um i had those little square potatoes i think that was included in the meal and then this so basically you saved a pound because i think it was seven pounds if i remember correctly for the meal so there we are so I thought I'd just quickly show you those because they were actually with, within my fridge stuff. So I'm going to put this away and then I will do like um, cupboard I think is next. Yeah, cupboard um, for my um, little sort of pantry cupboard which is down here as you know. This is snacks and sort of bakery. So I've got the 24 packets of meaty. I think they're either three or three pound 50. Still going for the Pringles, the sour cream and onion. They're still on offer for one pound 25. I was waiting for them to come down to a pound, but they haven't yet. So whether that's not going to happen, a couple of those will go up for Christmas, a couple um, for the next week. 
Um, the pom bears, I believe, were a pound. They're for a granddaughter, although other family members like them. Got cheesy savouries, they were a pound. Now, the cheddars, I think, are a pound each, but if you have the two packets um, by Jacobs, they're £1.50. And it was the same, I think, for ordinary crackers, which I had the other week, so I went for these. Um, buttons, five packets for a pound because I was hoping maybe to, I don't know, either put these in a Halloween bucket or sort of hide them. I'm not sure yet, but I thought I'd get those in. I've got the Kellogg's Cocoa Pop cereal bars. All my family like these, actually, and sometimes I just put them in there packing up as a snack mid-morning when they're at work. I've checked the dates on this, and that's August 21, and that, sorry, that's June 21, that's August 21, and these were 50 pence each. Sometimes I feel that when um, things get reduced, you know, sort of slashed half price, I have to be wary of the dates, but they're well in date, so that's fine. So they'll just go in my store cupboard at the moment. And again, I've got these um, animals, again, I see how she is, whether I hide them, I'm not sure, or whether I put some of these in a bucket for, for Halloween. Um, obviously, we like these, but so do I as a treat. I just like these warmed up in the microwave with a little bit of butter on. Um, the loaves of bread, £1.35, two loaves for £2. Glad I got them this way because it's a pain having to go out to go and get the bread. And then the wall, walls, yes, wall buttons, um, rolls. These are the Halloween ones. I said about this the other week. Yeah, you can tell when it comes to Halloween because they changed their packaging and they were a pound each. And I got two because what I tend to do is leave one loaf out and one lot of rolls out when it's delivered and the other two actually get frozen. So that is that. So I'm going to go on to the next category after I've put this lot away. Right, one item that got messed, it was in one of the other bags, was the Ritz original crackers. These were a pound, I said, I try and have these sort of things in rather than having a lot of sweet stuff, although I know sweet stuff is coming in for Christmas and that, but I try and minimize it as much as I can. Right, I got this unstoppable Domestus Unbeatable Strength, Kills all known germs are dead. Um, this was, um, I think, a pound each, but you save 20p. £1.80 for two. Something that I've been quite disappointed in, now not the fragrance, is the Surf 20 washes. Now, I am down really low. I don't know how many capsules I've got, so I'm leaning back. So here we are. So this is the other one. And I've got, well, about four... About four or five capsules left, and this is the last one. Now, I was purchasing this for three pounds. It's gone up to five pounds. It has been for about the last three weeks, I think. So I was sort of hanging on to see whether I could sort of get it at the lower price, but I haven't got any in my stock, so I had to pay the five pounds for the same amount of washes. Um, but there you are. I could have gone for a different brand. They had other brands on offer, but I decided to stick with these because I do like these two-in-one capsules. So again, they increased the last few weeks to £5 rather than 3 And then I've got these 50-litre um, sacks, drawstring, and I think they were a pound. A couple of like toiletry items. I got this the other week, the Moroccan um, Sunset um, and Golden Argan Oil. Um, love that. It's totally gone already. And um, that's the Indulgence Spa Bath Soap. And to tell you the truth, um, I think that would make a lovely gift along with a bath puff and, you know, put it in a little box or a little gift bag or just wrap it in cellophane. Um, as I said, I do like that. I do like that one. A pound, I got the um, guys uh, right guard. I bought the one because I don't know, it says fresh, I don't know what the scent's like. So I only purchased the one and see um, who is short of the body spray. 
um i've got some toothbrushes um i like to keep some extra in for guests um you never know um i used to do this especially when it gets towards the winter um because some winters have been really bad with snow and if family members can't um get home especially if they live out of town work in town if you know what i mean i used to like these sort of things although it's probably not going to be possible but also um, I have to keep some separate because I like to keep um, one set of these under our sink just for those little, you know, sort of nooks and crannies as I call it in the kitchen or wherever in the bathroom for cleaning. And then as you, probably everybody knows, you're getting through so much antibacterial hand wash. But what we started doing is because it's a bit strange because on the picture it shows you with the pump. A lot of the time with these but it doesn't so i have to keep um cleaning the pump and then transferring it onto the next bottle because i just think the pump is better um the pepsi max haven't bought it all through they're down to one pound fifty for three liters bargain um it's something that i do try and get ahead of for christmas especially when it's an offer like that but I must admit, we do get through a lot of Pepsi Max. I know it's not good, but then again, our family don't drink. So that's sort of our um, little perk. Now, tea bags. Now, ignore this. I didn't pay that. I think the Typhoon, I'd like to say, were a pound. I'm not sure. I think they were one pound, one pound twenty for 100 bags. I want to give that um, to hubby to take to work. Um, normally I go for the Normus bag, I think it's 1,100 bags um, from B&M, but I haven't been in. We were going to go twice um, when we was away in the caravan and I never did. Every time we sort of passed it, hubby would say, do you want to go in? No, I've had enough. Because of having masks on, I cannot stand to um, go shopping too long with a mask on. So I'd had enough both times. When we went to the retail part one day, then we went another time, popped into town, passed being in both times, and I said, no, I couldn't do it. This one, I think, was 120 tea bags. This is Tetley. I think this was 120 or 150. Again, I can't 100% sure. I'm just keeping that in my cupboard, or where I keep my tea bags, just in case I run out before I get to b and because I do like to get the really big bags because we tend to, I don't drink tea. Um, tea drinkers probably um, would agree with this, can tell the difference between tea. Um, we sort of change around from Tetley to Typho. Um, I think mostly it's Typho because it's the larger bags. I know hubby likes Yorkshire tea as well. Um, so I try and alternate, but as I said, normally I go for the really, really big bags of tea bags, and I seal them up in a tin. So yeah, these I'm trying to remember how much these were. I think I'd like to say seventy five p, possibly meatballs in tomato sauce. Thought I may keep these in for a meal for a granddaughter. She may um, appreciate that. I don't know. If not, I'm sure my um, son would enjoy that and just mix some pasta in with it. Something I haven't had in absolute years. Me and hubby used to always have this on our cheese sandwiches, sandwich spread. I know your tastes change. So I've just gone for the small one. I think it was a pound just to see if we again like it, you know, because I do find I need to have something in with my sandwiches. Um, with cheese because I find them rather dry out. Um, I did say I was going to get some more of these. I believe these were down to 50 pence each is the chicken paste. We used to have ham quite a lot, ham paste and that, but the chicken seems to have more flavour. So I believe they were 50 pence each. Mayo was a pound. Then I've just got the skimmed milk in. Um, it's got April next year because I like to keep one of those in for emergencies because we tend to go through stages of getting through a hell of a lot of milk, especially when the guys have their cereal for supper. Hubby takes milk to work um, to obviously have his tea and coffee. And also if um, I want to take it to the caravan anytime. So I've got um, long life milk there and mint sauce. 
pick through that when it's roast dinner. It doesn't matter what joint it is, especially when it has some like mint sauce. And I like a little bit, you know, mixed in with peas. Had this before, but not for a long time. There's some style gravy mix and um, like that with fries and chicken. Just as though you're going to... Okay, nothing can beat going out to KFC, but, you know, to make your own sort of takeaway meal. Couple of halloween -y bits. I was surprised, actually, because this bucket is really big. I thought it was going to be smaller than this. I was surprised at the size. These are actually reduced down to 50 pence. I say sometimes um, Iceland have decorations, gifts and everything in. Um, but anyway, yeah, 50 pence. So it's a large bucket. Um, chocolate's probably going to look um, a little bit lost in there. But uh, we'll probably have um, hiding the chocolates around the lounge or something and put them in there. On the understanding she knows that it's after a meal or um she only has one packet <laughs> yeah and the rest has to go away i've got some of the mini um lollies because i probably could get away with a couple of these you know because they're mini ones um because of the sugar intake but what i tend to do with even with the mini ones or the larger ones i can wrap a bit of um white um tissue paper over just tight with elastic band or bit of ribbon Put some black eyes and you've got a ghost ready for Halloween. And you can stick it into um, different things or just have them, you know, sort of loose on a plate. And I did get the Funny Bones chocolate cake bars again. Family members did like that. And I do love the packaging, as I said before. Not many Christmas items this time. I got another Terry's chocolate orange because they are a pound. Because sometimes these can go up to one ninety nine in the shops. And um, I know Poundland probably do sell them as well. But if I can get it online and get it delivered, all well and good. Um, reindeer Ma uh, Maltesers. I've got a few of these. I like to make little um, you know, felt stockings and put a little reindeer in. Again, not likely to have um, the visitors, but it's something I like to do and then put those on the tree or have a little basket where I put, you know, make these reindeer um, stockings up, put a little Maltese thing and leave it in a basket near a front door. So, you know, a guest or if I have a visitor, again, maybe not so much now, um, can take them away with them. I was surprised this one didn't get smashed and it seems to be in one um, piece which I meant to have left myself a note to check before the guy left um, but luckily it's not smashed because I know these things can break really easily it's the Santa I want to put that in our granddaughter's um, sort of sweet gift bag which I'll be shown very shortly and then I've got another packet of Maltesers um, either these will go in someone's stocking or I might use the Maltesers on little cupcakes. So that is it. And yeah, pound, pound, pound. Yeah, I like to say a pound for all those. So that is um, my shop. This has taken a while, actually. I'm not sure how long this has been. Luckily, I did my freezer shop first. My freezer part and put it away first. Just fact that the ice cream would have melted by now so hopefully you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching